Hi guys and welcome back. Today we are going to explore more Minecraft. So if you're new to Minecraft, this is going to be super helpful for you. So you drop into a world. What do you do? What is Minecraft? Well, today I'm going to show you guys how to do some basic things as you start playing Minecraft, either for the first time or you're not familiar with it and you're starting for like second or third time into somebody's world or your own world. Now, this is survival mode, so we have to find basic necessities. So what do we do? You have no tools, nothing. So your friend is the closest tree to you. So what do you do? You hold down the left click button if you're playing on PC or uh, whatever button on whatever platform you are and just start whacking these trees, collect some logs. Let's do this for a little bit and collect some wood. All right. So now we're going to explore uh, creating tools and creating a crafting table and creating those basic things we need. So open up your uh, inventory. Go ahead and click on the logs that you just collected. And now what do we do with this? So this right here, this two by four, or sorry, this two by two uh, square right here with four of them uh, is your personal crafting table, right? But to create complex things, you're going to need to make an actual one. So you can do basic things with this. So go ahead and drop the logs there. It's going to create wood planks for you. So go ahead and uh, click on that and it creates planks for you. Now, if you're on a PC like me, you can go ahead and hold shift and hit left click on it and it creates all the logs out of that wood. So now how do we make the actual crafting table? It takes four of these. So place one in each side and it creates a crafting table for you. So go ahead and exit your inventory tab. Go ahead and pull up the crafting table and then right click on the ground and it will place this for you. You uh, right click on it again to use this and now you have a three by three square with nine places. So now, how do we make tools? We're going to start with making wooden tools, okay? So go ahead and uh, drop this again. Go ahead and split it in half. So if you're on a PC like me, you right click on it. It splits that in half. It creates some sticks. So let's go ahead and click on this a couple times. We're still going to need some of that wood. So don't use all of it into sticks. Or if you do, just go ahead and uh, get some more wood from the nearest tree. So... Now we're going to place these in configurations to build our basic tools. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to build a sword. So it takes two of these wood uh, pieces on top and one stick on bottom, and that gets us a wooden sword. Then go ahead and for the rest of the tools, it's going to create uh, cost two sticks. So we're going to want a pickaxe so that we can mine some coal, we can mine some iron, and create better tools and basic necessities. So place three on the top. That creates your wooden pickaxe. Go ahead and do that again with the two sticks. And then we're going to create an axe, which is going to help us uh, get more wood. So it's going to take three on the side in this kind of L shape. We're going to need also a shovel, which takes two sticks and just one of those planks. For gardening, uh, you can create a hoe, which takes two on the top. Those are your basic tools. So, now that you have your basic tools, 
Um, each one of them helps us out in a different way. Our sword is going to be against uh, bad guys, uh, bad mobs. So if you're not familiar with the word mobs, that just refers to all of the computer generated uh, other characters in the game. So when it goes to nighttime, there's going to be uh, some zombies, some creepers, uh, some skeletons that shoot arrows at you, um, and there's other mobs uh, there. So you're going to need a sword to protect yourself. Then we've got our pickaxe. That's going to help us mine uh, stone and iron and coal. The axe, that's going to help us uh, with the trees. The shovel is going to help you with stuff like dirt and sand and gravel. And then the hoe is going to help you with gardening. So instead of left clicking and hitting with the hoe, it's actually a right click item. So that actually takes the grass off the top and tills the land for you, and then you can go ahead and plant seeds. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and uh, catch that video at the end of this one, and you'll learn how to build a garden. Okay, so all these other tools you use with the left click, at least for PC. Uh, if you're on your phone, if you're on Xbox or PlayStation, any of that, just go ahead and use whatever button it says uh, to do that. So. The sword, you can go ahead and you can swing it. You can hit things. Uh, the pickaxe, the same axe, and the shovel. So let's go get some basic necessities. So find any of the nearest uh, caves around you. So you can... Uh, Run around wherever you're at. Uh, don't run too far away from your spawn point, uh, which is where you came into the world. So, like where I put my crafting table. I don't want to lose that crafting table. And if I do, then I'm going to have to build another one, right? So you can use this wooden axe on any wooden products in that uh, digs that up for you faster than hitting it. So we'll just take the crafting table with us. So now that we've found a cave, it's right by us. It's super simple for you. It may be far away. So maybe you want to dig straight down and you can hit this. These gray blocks are stone. They give you cobblestone, which can create better tools. So there's different levels. You've got your wooden tools, your stone tools, your iron, your gold, and your diamond tools. Uh, cobblestone is definitely better than wood, but iron is going to be just the simplest, best tool all around. So we jump into here, and uh, this right here is coal. Coal is used for cooking your food. Coal is used for torches. So these torches that we see around here, we need to uh, create light around us because... That's a spider down there. I don't know if you can see, but where there is no light, bad mobs uh, spawn. So let's go ahead and use our wooden sword and we just killed that spider. So this right here is coal. We're gonna need torches. Torches is another essential item for us. So as you uh, get your coal, this is how you uh, create a torch. And again, it's one of those items you don't need a crafting table for. Uh, you can use your own personal uh, crafting place right here. It takes one stick and one coal, and you get four torches. So now you can go ahead and you can go down into these dark places, and you can place your torch, and that lights the place up for you. Okay. And now we've got a crafting table with us. So we can go ahead and throw that down. Now, this is perfect right here. We have both coal and that is iron. So let's go ahead and mine some more coal. Let's make some more torches. Uh, we definitely want to make as many as we can uh, for the initial uh, start because we're in a cave and we don't want any bad mobs to uh, unsuspectingly attack us and or kill us. So then iron, it takes a little bit to get uh, this iron here, but this is definitely going to help us. Oh, see, there you go. Now I forget. So 
you need to create a stone pickaxe to uh, mine iron. So how do I do that? Let's use this wooden pickaxe, grab a couple pieces of stone, go to our crafting table, and again, we'll throw down two sticks, and now we throw down three of those cobblestones, and that creates a stone pickaxe for us. Now, uh, the stone pickaxe is more durable. It also is going to allow us to mine more things, and it's going to allow us to mine it faster. So let's get some of this iron. Okay, now we've got some iron. So now we're going to need to make a furnace, and that's going to be able to smelt down our iron so that we can use that and turn it into things such as uh, our swords and pickaxes. We can also create buckets out of it. We can create shears, a lot of tools, really great stuff. So we're going to need some stone so that we can create our furnace. So once you've collected um, eight stone, we'll go down to our crafting table and we will create that furnace. And then basically just circle around this uh, three by three uh, square and leave the center uh, out of that. Then you create your furnace, go ahead and place your furnace down and then you can go ahead and add your coal into that. Once you've added your coal into that, that is the fuel that is required for it to work. Go ahead and grab your iron, drop that in there. And it's going to take a little bit of time, but once it's done, it's going to create these iron ingots for us. And that's going to be able to get us those better tools. So now that I've created uh, my basic tools, I've found coal, I've created my furnace, my crafting table. What next do I need to do? Well, we need to worry about shelter. So let's find shelter because until we can build a bed, we will have to brave the night and defend ourselves against enemies. So I'm going to create some more torches. Now the maximum amount of torches you can have in one of these brick spaces is 64. So right now I have 16. And this is your maximum uh, storage capacity is what you have in your hand. If you start gathering more stuff, then you can handle what do you do? You create a chest. So let's go ahead and take our wood. And just like with the furnace, we'll do the same process. We'll go all the way around and leave one space open in the middle. That creates a chest. And then let's go ahead and place that chest down. Now let's, you know, like store my cobblestone, the rest of my wood and my coal. And that's about the basics. Um, we can go back into the furnace here and grab our iron ingots. And then now you've got iron, you can create uh, shears, which to create our bed, let's go ahead and explore and find a sheep. We'll actually find uh, some of my sheep on my farm. But created in this kind of uh, form right here, and it just takes two, and that creates your shears. Now, when you're in your crafting table, you can create the shears like that. You can do like that. You can use it in any formation as long as they're diagonal like that. Okay. So let's go outside. Let's find a sheep. And let's create a bed. Oh, so it's nighttime and, uh, I hear a skeleton and he's got arrows. So definitely if you double click W uh, on a PC, that will make you run so we can escape the uh, skeletons faster. Again, just refer to whatever uh, controller or uh, controls 
your platform has, uh, and then you can run. So let's grab the shears, let's equip it. This right here down below is our equipped bar. So for me, I can scroll through those or I can hit the numbers on uh, my key uh, keyboard. So like if I hit one, it's on sword. If I hit, you know, six, it takes me to shears um, or all the just random ones here. Uh, refer to your controls again to switch there, but that is what your equipped bar is. And then the rest of them are stored. So let's take our shears. And then this is another one of those right click items, just like the hoe. Uh, go ahead and right click on a sheep that you find and that will get some wool for you. So let's pretend I didn't just go to my farm here and you found a random sheep on a hillside. Run back and find where your little spot was. Again, if you want to keep everything with you, just break it back down uh, after you place it and use it. So like the crafting table, use the axe on. For the furnace, use your pickaxe. Uh, for the chest, use your axe because it's another wood product. So now we're back to kind of our, our little base here. So let's go ahead and open our chest, grab our wood. And then this is a configuration that you'll need uh, to create a bed. You'll need at least three wool and three uh, wood. Sorry, not specifically wood, but you'll need the planks. So you'll need to turn wood into the planks. And then three on the bottom. And that creates a bed. Now, the bed is colored blue because that's the kind of wool that I got. The bed will be whatever color wool it is that you use to create your bed. So then use right click and that places your bed. So then right click on it. And because it's nighttime, it's going to take us to sleep. Then we're going to wake up. It's morning and it is light out. Now all those enemies that are outside, the sun hurts them and sets them on fire. So you don't have to worry about them unless they're like, say, stuck in the ocean and you're right by the ocean. A skeleton that's in the ocean will be uh, cooled down because the water puts out the fire. So they can fire at you, they can fire your arrows. Uh, so go ahead and attack them or just run away from whatever it is. So once you have these basic necessities, again, refer to um, my video on making a garden or go ahead and use your sword and uh, attack one of the friendly mobs that are outside. So it could be a sheep, it could be a pig, it could be a cow, um, any of that. You'll get a little bit of meat. So let's go find one real quick. And if they're shaded under a tree, that's a skeleton right there. And he's gonna hurt us. So let's run away. Okay, perfect, a chicken. So I whacked that chicken and I got this raw chicken right here, awesome. So now we're gonna run back to our home. We're gonna run away from these bad guys that are uh, being hidden. Okay, let's run away, run away. And this is the last thing that I'm gonna teach you guys in this video. Take that raw chicken, put it in the furnace. That's going to cook it for you. And then you can go ahead and eat that. Now, um, down below, you can see all of your items here. On the left there, you see all of your hearts. So that's how much health you have. And then you have these, what look like little chicken wings or ham legs, whatever they are. Uh, that's your health bar. So that's your health meter that tells you how hungry you are. If that goes to zero, that's gonna start taking hearts away from you. And once you get below a couple of those hunger bars, uh, your health is not going to replace itself. So you're going to want to keep your health in check. So let's go ahead and eat the chicken. And that feeds about three of the hunger. 
So I've got a hunger and a half that I still need to feed for now. But my heart is going to regenerate. Um, last tip is wherever you're at uh, for your uh, home base for the time being until you get set up and have a lot of supplies, try to enclose your area so that no bad guys can get to you um, so maybe go ahead and spend some time and mine out more of this cobblestone and then just build walls around you and make sure it is well lit by torches and you will be set. And then you can go out and explore, get more food, get more resources. Uh, good luck in Minecraft guys. Uh, it's a very fun game. I've been playing this for years. I've been playing it since it came out. I recommend this game to everybody. It is family friendly. Um, so yeah, so enjoy. And that's kind of like what the point of Minecraft is, is just to have fun and give you kind of a challenge. So anyway, have a great rest of the day. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe. Go ahead and check us back for more content. Have a great rest of the week.